Weinman here in Melissa Weinman Studio, and today I'm going to show you how and why I varnish a painting. Today I'm varnishing a painting called Seeds of Mercy 3. It's a painting that I made last week, and it's dry to the touch, which is really great. And I'm going to be varnishing it with Windsor & Newton Retouch Varnish, and I'm using the Retouch Varnish as a varnish because I can't wait six months to a year for this painting to dry. My gallery wants it next week. So it's dry to the touch, and the other wonderful thing about Windsor Newton Retouch Varnish is it's got UV protection. And more and more these days, homes are being designed with these large windows, and not always do they have um, glass that filters out UV rays. Sometimes they do. But I've, I've heard from gallerists that sometimes uh, collectors complain that paintings fade when they're in the sunlight. So UV protection is really important. So I'm going to put on my gloves because even though I paint solvent free, this is the one area in my process where there are solvents involved and uh, it's just kind of unavoidable. So here's, I've removed the label from the original jar, but it's Windsor & Newton Artist Retouching Varnish. And I'm using Swispers cosmetic wedges to apply the varnish. They're wonderful little sponges. I can control how much varnish is going onto the painting with these and they're virtually lint-free. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to dip my sponge in the varnish, squeeze any excess out, and I'm just going to start at the top with horizontal bands. And what I like very much about this varnish is I can see it going on, it dries quickly, I know where I've been, and um, I can see whether it's pooling or dripping. There's, it's got a little bit of sheen. And the lovely, lovely thing is it really evens out the painting surface. Not perfectly. You know, if you've got a really oily surface in one patch, it's not going to take that away. But if you have matte areas, it kind of brings up a little shine so that the painting looks a little bit wet again. So I've got some lights on in the studio that help me see what's happening here. So I can see where there's shine and where there's not. And if, if I have any horizontal bands here, I can stroke over them to even out the varnish so I don't get uneven varnish happening here. And my painting's pretty dry because look at this. There's no pigment coming off. You'll know that your painting isn't dry enough if your sponge starts getting dirty. So, <clears throat> and then you should stop, of course and think about waiting a few days before varnishing again. Do I use retouch varnish while I'm painting? No, I don't. I'm an alla prima painter. So the only reason I would have retouch varnish in my cabinet is just for this final coat of protective varnish. I just want to even out the surface a little bit and give my painting that UV protection. What about varnishing later on? After the painting is really totally thoroughly dry six months to a year later, yeah, then by all means, if you still have possession of that painting or you know where it is, I think it's a great idea to varnish it. And I, um, I float mount this painting when I'm putting it in a frame, so it's not like I would have to take it out of the frame to put another coat of varnish on it at all. I would just mask off the frame. It would be really easy. Okay, so I did the horizontal bands all the way from top to bottom. I'm looking to see if there's any streaking of any sort. It looks really good. And sometimes now what I'll do is just to make sure I will go the other way. Not with a lot of varnish, just I'm squeezing out my sponge a lot, but I'm just gonna go the other way just to make sure. And then of course you wanna go along the edges to make sure that you haven't ignored the edges of the painting to make sure you've got a good amount of varnish there. I can see I dripped on my paper here. It's a good thing I didn't drip on the painting. And just one last check here, holding it up to the light to make sure that I don't have any strange varnish mark patterns. And all I have is one little speck of something that's gone now. We're good. Okay, that was easy. And this is going to dry probably in six hours, but for sure it'll be dry overnight. And then I will touch it lightly just to make sure, but 
I'm really planning on wrapping and shipping this painting tomorrow. Okay, that's it.